This video is going to be the second video on ratio. So if you haven't yet watched the first video on ratio, please go and do that first. Now it turns out the types of ratio we're going to be looking at in this video is found very difficult by a lot of students. And I've noticed that year on year. So I'll try my best to simplify as much as possible. What I'd like to say is there's two types of questions we get, and we're going to be looking at both of them in this video. Now the first types we're going to be looking at is when both ratios got something in common. So if you look at this question, one ratio is talking about white to blue, and the other ratio is talking about blue to green. Now you'll notice both ratios have got blue in it. Now what we do with these types of question, we try to make the blue in both of them the same amount. Because remember with ratios, for example, white to blue, I could times that ratio by whatever number I like, and it won't change the ratio. For example, if I times it by two, it becomes six to eight, but that's the same as three to four. So I'm allowed to times the ratio by whatever I like. However, we're going to be strategic and try to times it by a number such that the blues become the same. Because the question wants us to work out the ratio of white to green. And the only way we're going to do that is by making a ratio for all three colors. So let's try this strategy and try to make the blues the same in both. Now in the white to blue, the blue is four. However, in the blue to green, the blue is five. So what number can we make them both into? Now, if you're good with your factors, you should have said 20. They can be both made to 20. The left hand ratio can be times by five and the blue will go from four to 20. And the right hand ratio, the blue to green, if we times that by four, that five there will also turn to 20, making the blue the same value in both. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're times in the left ratio by five, remember, and the right ratio by four. And brilliant, we've made the blue the same in both. Blues become a value of 20 in both ratios. Now we can draw a comparison between all three colors. So we're going to write a ratio for white to blue to green, and we know the blue is 20. Now, whilst the blue is 20, we know the white is going to be 15. Again, while we know the blue is 20, we know the green is going to be 24. Brilliant, we've got a ratio for all three colors, white to blue to green. So of course, the question wants a ratio for white to green. And from here, you can see white to green would be 15 to 24. And of course, just like a fraction, we can cancel this down. We can see that three goes into both ratios. So divide both parts by three, and we get five to eight. Let's try another question with these types. So in this question, we know cows and sheep are in the ratio of two to five, and sheep to chicken are in the ratio of 10 to three. And we need to work out the ratio for all three things, cows, sheep, and chicken. So here we've got the information the question tells us. Now what you'll notice, that both ratios got sheep in common. So this is just like the first question, and we're gonna to try to make the sheep the same. Now in one of them, sheep is five, and the other one, sheep is 10. Of course, we can make them both to 50, but it'd be much easier if we just make them both to 10. As the right-hand ratio sheep to chicken is already 10, we can simply times the left-hand ratio cows to sheep by two, and we get four to 10. Now the value of sheep is the same in both ratios. So we can finally write a ratio for all three things. Of course, we know sheep is 10, and if sheep is 10, we can see cows is four. And from the right-hand ratio, we can see when sheeps are 10, chicken is three. And we've got the ratio comparing all three things. And we can see that we can't simplify any further. So let's have a look at this question. I'll give you a moment to quickly have a read. So we know there's green, blue and yellow sweets in a bag. And we're also told that green to not green sweets is in the ratio of two to three and blue to not blue sweets is in the ratio of three to seven. And we need the ratio for all three colors. So you must realize this question is different to the first two times. And this is the second type of ratio question I was talking about. Now with this type of question, both ratios is talking about the whole bag. 
Look at the first ratio. It's green to not green. Of course, in the bag, sweets are either green or not green. So this ratio is talking about the whole bag. And the second ratio, blue to not blue, of course, in the bag, we either have blue sweets or we don't have blue sweets. So this ratio is also talking about the same whole bag. So both ratios are talking about the whole bag. And that's what you get with that second type of ratio questions I was talking about. And we deal with these type of questions very differently. So there's two ways to look at these questions, and I'm going to show you both. So you can do whichever you feel more comfortable with. So the first method I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the total of both ratios, the total of parts both ratios have. For example, green to not green, it's got two parts and three parts. That's a total of five parts. And blue to not blue is three parts plus seven parts, which is ten parts. Okay, now what I'm going to say to myself is both ratios is talking about the full bag, but their totals are not the same, so they can't really be compared. However, if we make the totals the same, we can compare the two ratios. So we're going to do that first. And the easiest way to do that is the one which adds to 5, the green to not green, we'll just multiply that one by 2. Okay, so now the total for both of them is the same. Green to not green is 4 to 6. And blue to not blue is 3 to 7, which also adds up to 10. And now we can compare the ratios because both ratios were talking about the same bag. And now they add up to the same, so we can draw comparisons from them. So we can write a ratio for yellow to blue to green. And blue we can see is 3 from the blue to not blue one. And green we can see is 4 from the green to not green. So at the moment in this three-way ratio, it adds up to 7. And of course we need it to add up to 10. So we know yellow must also be 3. And we've made a ratio for all three colours. Now you might have not liked this way of doing it. So I'm going to show you another way of doing it which you might prefer. Okay, so let's start the question all over again. So I'm going to look at the two ratios. And from the ratios, I'm going to turn them into fractions. So from the first ratio, green to not green, I can see what fraction are green. And it's two out of a total of five parts, so it's two fifths. And you should be able to do that if you've done my first video on ratios. And in the, from the ratio blue to not blue, we should be able to gather that the fraction of blue sweets is 3 over 10. Okay, so now I know that 2 fifths are green and I know that 3 tenths are blue. Now I'm going to times the 2 fifths ratio by 2. So they have the same denominator. Okay, so 4 tenths of the sweets are green and 3 tenths of the sweets are blue. Now in total, that's 7 tenths. So 7 tenths of the sweets are green and blue. So adding them up, we get 7 tenths. So we know 7 tenths are either blue or green. Now 7 tenths are blue or green. That leaves 3 tenths left. So that 3 tenths remaining must be yellow. And now we know what fraction of the bag is yellow sweets. And since they're all in terms of tenths, we can put it as a three-way ratio. Blue, of course, is 3 tenths. Green, of course, is 4 tenths and yellow we know is 3 tenths. So you might prefer this method for these types of ratio questions. So in the next question, I'm going to show that fraction method again. So we know ice to not ice is 1 to 9, and water to not water is 7 to 3. So we need to find the percentage of land which is not including ice. So from the question, we said we're going to do the fraction method. And of course, you must know this is the second type of ratio question we're talking about because both ratios is talking about everything. For example, ice to not ice. Well, the earth is either ice or not ice. And the second ratio is water to not water. And that's, of course, talking about the whole earth as well because the earth is either water or not water. So this is that second type of ratio question. It's not that first type where there's something common in both. Okay. So from the first ratio, we know that ice to not ice is 1 to 9. So from that ratio, we know what fraction is ice. It's 1 over 10. Because 1 part is ice over the total 1 plus 9, which is 10. And water to not water is in the ratio of 7 to 3. So what fraction is water? 
Well, 7 over 10. And if we add them up, we get 8 over 10. And of course, that leaves 2 over 10 to be the remaining land, which is not including ice. So that remaining 2 tenths must be land. And of course, as a fraction, that's 20%. And there we have it. I hope you found that video useful. Support us by liking, subscribing, and share this with your friends. And if you still got some more questions on anything, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com where you'll find your questions answered.